So just a few days ago, Apple released iOS 26.1 and developer beta 1. And after using the software for several days, I've noticed some additional new features and changes that I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. Now, I also noticed some interesting changes happening to liquid glass. I feel like Apple might be cutting back on liquid glass with iOS 26.1. But either way, if you haven't watched my initial coverage for iOS 26.1 beta 1, I'll link that in the description down below. Now let's take a look at some additional new features and changes. And the first thing I wanna talk about is Apple Music. So in Apple Music, if you're now playing a song here, with Apple Music controls, you can now swipe to the right for the next track or swipe back on the media controls for the previous track. So pretty cool new feature, very useful capability here just to swipe in order to get to the next track here in Apple Music. Now something else I've noticed is new here is within the lock screen. So if you're playing music here and you tap on the artwork, you see the animation has been improved here, a lot smoother, a lot better within Apple Music for the lock screen as well. Now I've also noticed some changes within the photos application under the controls for the media. So if we're playing a video, we now have a redesigned media control right there for the videos in the photos application with a background sort of a frosted glass element here. Now let me show you that on iOS uh, 26, the official release. So if we go to play a video, that is what that looks like. You see the controls there in comparison to iOS 26.1. You can see the speaker has been relocated and the controls on iOS 26.1 beta 1 have a background. It's just been redesigned as you can see right there. Now as I mentioned, Apple is sort of changing liquid glass with iOS 26.1. Let me show you this screenshot here just for reference. So if we have this screenshot here and I swipe down, you see here behind the menus, we can't see anything. You see that blue text right there? at location, you can't really see it behind the actual elements there on the bottom of the screen. Now let me show you iOS 26. So if we go screenshot here and we take a look at the same text behind, we can actually see it. You see there the actual liquid glass versus iOS 26.1, no liquid glass. So sort of a frosted glass, you can see nothing behind the elements there within iOS 26.1. Not only that, but if you go into edit mode here on the home screen on both operating systems, let me show you here, iOS 26 and 26.1. Take a look at the little icon there on the top left to delete the app. You see there, iOS 26 has a liquid glass right there icon on the top left here on iOS 26.1 beta 1. It is a frosted glass element. So minor changes happening throughout the OS. Apple changing liquid glass within the operating system ever so subtly. And if you didn't really pay attention, you wouldn't catch those changes. Now, Apple has also confirmed that passport IDs will be coming to the wallet application this year in iOS 26. So in 2025, Apple should be enabling the passport feature inside of the wallet application. The feature is not yet available. Perhaps it will become available with future iOS 26.1 betas. But as of right now, Apple confirms that this year, the feature will be available in iOS 26. So I also want to talk about performance and battery life. So taking a look here at the benchmarks for iOS 26 and 26.1 betas, take a look here. Single core score for iOS 26 is 3,845. 26.1 will be 3,685. So we saw a slight decrease in performance from iOS 26 to 26.1 on the single core, as well as the multi-core. We have 9,000 802 on iOS 26, on 26.1, 9,588. So yeah, a drop in performance on both single core and multi-core performance from iOS 26 to 26.1. I also wanna talk about battery life. I know you guys have been asking and I have to say battery life just seems the same as iOS 26 so far within the first beta for iOS 26.1. So yeah, battery life hasn't really changed. It didn't get worse, but it did not get better. And there you guys have it. I just wanted to share these changes with you guys for the latest iOS 26.1 beta 1. Let me know what you think about some of these liquid glass changes coming to the software. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.